Hello, ladies and gentlemen. So this month we are celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month. Last time I saw you, we made some maracas. I thought we could continue with a Spanish-inspired project. And who doesn't like a llama? Today, I'm going to show you guys how to draw a llama head on a piece of paper. Did you know that a group of llamas is called a herd? And llamas are more than just animals. The fur, they turn into wool and they can make blankets and different things with it. Llamas are also a guard animals. They will guard a bunch of sheep. I thought that was a really cool thing that I learned about llamas this week. Alright guys, this is the cute little llama head we are going to be making today. And of course I have a Rosie Posey with us and this is her little llama that she is going to make. Let's go over to the studio and learn how to make it. Hello ladies and gentlemen. All right, we are here in the studio. And Rosie, what supplies do we have? My mom is giving paper. Paper. You have your what? Notebook. And we have a pencil for me. My mom using a sharpie. So you guys can see. And we are mm -hmm. gonna color it in. Color it in. We've got some colored pencils this week instead of crayons. All right, Rosie, open up your book, flip to a new page. So, um, that one. So, this, so this week is when we made the collage. The collage? And then this week we made the butterfly, and then that's when we made the fishy. And then that's when we made the rock. There we go. And what are we going to draw today, Rosie Posey? A llama. A llama. So we are continuing with the Hispanic Heritage Month, and we are going to be drawing a llama. Mm. Now, Rosie, please follow me. Don't just draw. My friends at home, follow me as well. We are going to make just the llama head right here, but we are going to make it look fuzzy with a wiggly line. Look, wait, look, now look. don't do it all the way up the page. We need to leave room for the ears. All right, you ready to add some ears? Yeah. Now wait, llama ears are kind of square. So watch my ears. They're kind of square on the top. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at my All right, and I wanted to add a little bit of extra fuzz on the inside. This is where you can draw it pink. Awesome. Now your eyes. In the original drawing that I found, it had the eyes closed. But you can make your eyes any way you want to. And I'm going to show you guys how to make cute eyes. I'm We're going to... I just want to do closed, okay? Okay, a closed eye looks like this. Mm-hmm. So when I make a cute eye, I draw an oval, I draw a curve with a big circle, and then I like to color in this part. But I like your closed eyes, Rosie. Do you like your closed eyes? Yeah. Alright, give me one second. Normal mouth are pretty easy, right, Mark? Yes, for the, no, a llama mouth, actually it has a nose and a mouth together, so we're going to draw an oval, draw a nice big oval. Okay, and then a line, and then do, 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 do. She's drawing the nose part. I draw it like this, a curve, and a curve, and then I turn this into the nose by coloring it black. Look at my nose. You have a cute little heart nose. Mm -hmm. And then llamas have a little head that sticks out. So the way I show that the head is sticking out is by drawing this little squish line. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, squish line. <laughs> 
And now we can decorate our llamas any way we want to. Did you know that llamas are actually white? Uh huh. So how do we decorate this? No, the color. We are gonna add color, but we're gonna add it to the yeah. background. Mm -hmm. So. These are some special color pencils that I have had for a long time. Mommy, I want to color the llama. You can color your llama if you want to. I am just oh. going to draw some lines for my background. And I am going to just color my background. You ready to do some fast forwarding, Rosie? Yeah. All right, let's fast forward. All right, Rosie is gonna keep coloring on. Coloring. Rosie's gonna keep coloring on her llama, but we wanted to come in and say bye bye to you guys and happy creating. Happy creating.